In this video, we're going to finish processing and combining our solar images. Go to File, Open, and let's take the Registax images, both the chromosphere and the prominence. We're going to want to process these, and to make this easy, I've set up some actions. Go to Window, Actions, or you can click Alt F9. And over here we have Solar Chromosphere and Solar Prominence. Let's look at the prominence. Click on Prominence and the arrow button to go through the procedure. And you're done. There are other things you can do to tweak the image. Go to Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, Levels, Curves, Exposure. The actions that I chose are not particularly aggressive. In some cases, depending on the scene conditions, they may be too aggressive. Matter of fact, I can see a little bit of a black line here. And remember, that's something that we really don't want. If you don't like it, go to Edit and Step Backward. We can keep doing that, or you can start to play around with some of these others. Don't be afraid to experiment with them. Let's keep that one. Click OK. And let's save the image. PS for Photoshop. Go to Chromosphere. And again, we can open the Solar Chromosphere action if you wish. Or you can do them if you're familiar with Photoshop and just work them as you wish. Chromosphere, the arrow, and there it is. And again, you can play with the adjustments up here if you don't feel it's aggressive enough. And this one can look at brightness and contrast if you wish. Maybe some of the things with levels. Or you can try sharpening it even a little bit more. Again, you need to be careful not to over-process. That's over-processed. I can see that. We'll go to Edit and Step Backward. You can always do that. If you're happy with your images, now it's time to go and put them together. First, remember, let's save it again. Now let's merge the images. We're going to use our quick selection tool over here and just outline the chromosphere. The idea is we want to remove all of the black from here so we can use the other frame for the prominences. Once we have this, Control C, copy, go to prominence, Control V, paste. Go up here to our move tool. And you can fit them right together. Notice the black line going across. That usually tells us it's over processed. In this case, however, I think that the quick selection tool didn't exactly hug the chromosphere. If you're good in Photoshop, you can use tools like the eraser to carefully take out the black line. If you do that, once you have both images and you have them properly aligned, go over here to Layer and Background, Control Background, you want to select both, and then right-click, Merge Layers. Now they're one image. Go over here and select the part that you want to keep. Image, Crop, and of course, Save. There's an easier way. 
we still have the black line here. We didn't take the time to take that out. We really don't want that line. We're going to use PowerPoint actually to remove the black line and make this a little bit easier. So let's take a look at the PowerPoint program and just merge the images there. Open up PowerPoint and open up a blank presentation. We don't really want the title slide. It's easiest just to make a new blank slide and we can delete the old one. I'm going to click on Insert and Pictures, and we want to open up the Chromosphere and the Prominence. Now, we did save them in Photoshop. We'll open both. And we want the Chromosphere image on top. So let's bring that to the front. OK. In the Chromosphere image, we're going to go to Remove Background. Everything turns kind of purple. We can start in the bottom. And again, we just want the Chromosphere. And there we have it. And we still see that annoying black line, don't we? But if we move this down, get it close, the black line is gone. And you are good to go. Click outside the frame. And now you can easily merge the two images. Not exactly sharp. There we go. Get them in the best you can. There's still some tweaking that we can do with this. We're on the Chromosphere image. Let's go to Crop. I'm going to slide that down just so I have that part of the image. We can look at some quick corrections here. Don't like it. I still like that one. We can try sharpening it a little more. Not bad. We can do the same thing with the prominences. I actually like that a little bit better. And we can look at sharpening those a little bit more. Once you have it, there's your image. And that's what you want to save. Control A to select both. Right click and group. Right click, save as picture. And I'm going to put the year, month, day in. I'm going to save it as a PNG. And that's all there is to it. The next thing you want to do is be able to submit it off to Mission Support and show them some of the great images that you've taken.